If you work in Elementor, you know that there's been a lot of changes lately. And one thing that has confused some of the designers I've worked with is how do you do columns now using the container tool in Elementor? So I wanted to show this to you real fast. It'll just take a second and you'll be like, oh my gosh, I wish I had known that sooner. Okay, so here I am in my Elementor interface in my WordPress site that I'm currently building. This might look familiar. This is probably where you found this. So I've already put a heading up here. That's easy enough, but I want to create two columns over here. Now, you probably know that you can just do this to select the structure, but what if you want to do it by actually dragging your container in? So let's go over here. I'm going to click over here and grab my container. Notice there's no more intersection option. And I'm just going to put that over there. And now I'm going to put, I want two columns. So I'm going to put two more containers inside of this. You know, I could also duplicate whatever. Now they're stacked. So what I'm going to do in order to make this actually appear as columns instead of rows. Over here under layout, you'll see here I have direction. I'm going to make sure I select that container there. Now if I click on row horizontal, see it puts them into a row. I do have to make sure I've selected the right container because if I am selecting one of these containers here, it won't work. And if I want to put in another container here, all I have to do is duplicate this. If I want to put in another column, in there automatically because I applied that direction. And if say I want to actually make rows instead of columns, I come over here and I just click this button and they're stacked again. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Very quick, very easy, a lot easier than trying to select your structure every time. You can just build it out as you need it. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more of these tips.